You know what you do? On the rod run, you vlog until you get into a spot where you can actually go live. And I'm right here at Rita's having a brownie sandwich with Twister custard in between two brownies. Is that good or what? Look at that. Nice warm brownies and a twister. Oh, focus on that, would you? Oh, there you go. Focus. Look at that. Ah. Lots of hollering and screaming going on. The good kind. So I got this brownie sandwich from Rita's. Six dollars for you regular people. Four dollars and fifty. Oh, there's an old Maverick. Four dollars and fifty cents for us military. And it's nice to have ice cream and brownie at the same time. Oh, that's a healthy sound, isn't it? Well, let's find a trash can. Man, move along. I wasn't planning on sharing my ice cream with you, but I just thought to myself, I wonder if down here I could get a live stream. Because I could not get one up there. Look at this red pickup. Even went to the trouble for putting of Michelin putting Michelin tires on it. Look at that chrome grill. Forty nine thousand dollars, nineteen forty six Chevrolet. Even got original. Well, not an original. A elite, um, a proper Tennessee antique tag. Mm. Beautiful. That's a 1961 Ford. There's an old coupe. Uh, cutlass that certainly needs a friend. Oh, beautiful blue Chevelle. Oh, oh, that's a Camino. Got a little lift kit on it, too. That'd be one inch, maybe two. Factory four speed, 350, new paint, 31,000. I do love blue. Pretty, 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 pretty. I'm gonna switch my grip. Here's a pretty one. Love the way that looks. Probably not a lot of room in there. No numbers or words on it. What is that, a Plymouth with that big head? Big head. Beautiful. Don't you love it? That's as far out as it goes. Okay. <sighs> Here's a 5 0 Mustang. A beautiful lady. 
Oh, it's for sale too. Six speed, 2017. $30,000. Huh. Shelby. Lots of extras. Oh, I love it when they do that hazy black. 28.5. Oh, wagon. Flagging the wagon. There she is. You know, actually, you can see that it was a sedan. But then they added on the back roof there. There's a 55. Got the dull paint on it. But that's a new look. Last couple of years. Another El Camino. And you know we got to show yellow when it comes to a truck. Look at that yellow truck. Is that... That is real pretty. That is real pretty. Excuse me, I'm trying to get my finger into the camera strap. Call Ted, $22,000 for that yellow one. Oh, those tires mean business. Those are getting you out of trouble right there. F-150. JT Hannah's, haven't eaten here yet. Very exclusive restaurant, hard to get into. Really good food. From what I hear. Beautiful. Ah, just beautiful. Not exactly aerodynamic, huh? It's a 1940 Chevy. 1940, yep. $25,000. It's got updated seats and wires and, and uh, tires and brakes, but still the original dashboard and everything. I can't either, but I can't believe you're not eating. See those little tiny tail lights? That tells you it's pre war. Yes, yes. <laughs> There's a cute little thing. Ah, look at that, a Mustang. Beautiful Mustang. Four speed, $55,000. Lots of people on their phones while the parents do and haggle for a deal. Oh, look at this. I think this is a Chevy. This is the older version of the Bel Air. 1958. <laughs> I could uh, find some rather odd cars. There's some fa It's raw. It's serving raw food. You can see a big old Cadillac up ahead. Heel and toe. Walk as smooth as I can. Watch out for the holes in the ground. <laughs> oh, oh, and it's a, it's a convertible. I wonder if it's a Cruella de Vil, Cruella de Vil. I wonder. Look at that. Beautiful yellow Corvette. 
you know, I'm almost to the place I stopped the last night. So we can start looking at some newer stuff. Nice Grand Prix. I see a Mustang coming up. And the Duster, maybe that's a Scamp. And a Chevy 2. The Corvair, of course, Corvairs have an engine in the truck. And the, they got the luggage up front. Oh, this is a pretty one, a white one. GT350. Pretty. Got the side scoops. We have good tires. Information on it though, so it must have been sold. But scam. I don't know why they would call a car that looks like this. But I remember last night we were talking about a television show that had a dog named Scamp in it with Mr. Finch and Brian Keith. And everybody had fun talking about that, so I know I've been this way before. Crossed over and finished last night, but I didn't. This is, uh, unless there's a few cars around here that are new that weren't over here last night, we're gonna walk Smoky Mountain Motor Forts. Look at that. Oh, now here's a, the original. This is a Dodge Barracuda. Here's a 55. Look at that color. All the dial gauges. Isn't it beautiful? Let's take a look at the engine. Oh, yeah. You know, they don't overdo it. Just do a nice, simple, clean engine block. Appreciate that. Beautiful. Little Silverado. Classic. Oh. 66 convertible. Ah, gorgeous. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I've seen that one a couple of years in a row. Brought it back. There are no return guarantees here. When you buy things for cash around here, if you don't get out of town, you are on your own. But, and I gotta get out my oh, Monte Carlo. Nice Monte Carlo. Get out your battery backup. And get everything hooked up. And keep track of where your screen is facing. That's called professionalism. Plugged in. We are. Kind of looks like the. Kind of looks like the clouds of the universe, doesn't it? Or they drove through a sandstorm. <laughs> well, let's try to get onto the cars we haven't seen before. I'll tell you, this is what you call a patina patina. Oh, there goes a Bel Air right there. They're already for on trailers, getting ready to go home. Probably got bought. Goodness gracious, look at this. Don't even know what that is. <laughs> oh, they named it number 34. The 34 Chevy. Ooh. Nice setup, Chevy. Couple of Mustangs going by. Hey, look at that beautiful wagon here. Yeah. Sorry about the little bit of spin there. It just depends on where you're at and how many people are around. And, uh, but this late at night, I can usually get enough people off the off the stream 
where you can um, see it. So I am going to see if, yep, there I am. All right, so I'm going to try to look at both phones at the same time so that I can tell. Hey, yep, it's just me, Rhonda, by myself hitting my like button and uh, trying to get to a different area of the rod. I got my finger in the thing and I'm watching both phones now because uh, that tells me that I've got a good signal because every once in a while I've been running out of signal. And uh, yeah, that was a pretty bad backfire right there. That hurt my ears and my feelings <laughs> brings out a little bit of that PTSD you know plenty of parking spots down here tonight not like last night this place was jamming full 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 so people are starting to drive around in their brand new cars they just bought hey So, looking good, looking good. Heel toe, heel toe. Yeah, it is stumbling a little bit, isn't it? Plenty of police presence. We appreciate our first responders and law enforcement. Joy says we need to get a, a holder that holds both phones. But that would be just so heavy. But it would be nice. That way you could watch your signal. And uh, make sure you know what's going on all at the same time. Let me fast forward here. There we are. A little bit of catfishes, family owned operated. Beautiful Mustangs right here. Two of them side by side. A Jeepster, you don't see too many of those. Oh, bloody, a bloody m and Right, Al, go for good narrow roads in England. Right, MG, good, good car. Four cylinder, lots of fun to drive. You know it is. You know how it is. Yeah. Well, we're back to America with the Chevrolet Chevelle SS. Yeah, dude. Oh, look at that going by. Isn't that pretty? Sometimes when the lights are red, I can catch up to some of these cars that are driving by. They do. They make a lot of noise. Rough park. I like these well-lit parking lots because they let the camera focus on some of the cars that we're walking by. <laughs> what the heck is that? Hey, there's a there's a Dodge Duster or Plymouth something or other. Dodge. Dart. Dodge Dart. Silverado. <laughs> and then, what the heck is this? Oh, I think this is a Nissan. Yeah, I saw this last night. 1991. Nissan Figaro, 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 Figaro. <laughs> what does you are? Nissan, what kind of us? Sixty-five hundred for a Cadillac, Kodiak, Cadillac. Guy by the name of Quast 
had an Impala at AT school in the Coast Guard. And that four-door, I think it was a four-door Impala, they all got orders to Kodiak, Alaska. So they said, they, they nicknamed his car the Kodiak Cadillac. Oh, look at that, beautiful Wagoneer. Don't you love that? No tag on it, so it must have been trucked in. Isn't that beautiful? I don't see any writing on the windshield though, so it might be sold already. Oh, look at this beautiful Bronco. Not a spot on it. Beautiful, oh my goodness, we gotta look at this. And right next to it, a turbo, an EXP. When's the last time you saw a Ford EXP? Wow, look at this Bronco. I mean, is this a beach Bronco? Would you be on like Daytona Beach with this Bronco and be the envy of everyone? Yes, you would. What a beautiful, beautiful thing is a three. So you'll never see them because nobody can. Wow. Beautiful. Get a car this time. Yep, this is where I crossed over. And I don't mean that kind of crossover. I'm still alive. Yep. And, uh,. So now we're on to some fresh cars. Haven't been this way before. I can be Delivering goodies since 1973. That's a beautiful kind of work van right there, huh? Would love to have something like that for storyteller Donnie and his paintings and his front door work and his yep I'd make a mess of it too quick wouldn't want that oh wow this looks like a rather deep deep color Camaro real pretty another Camaro That's the tail of that Camaro. That's the tail of that Camaro. Oh, ho, ho. now it looks like the kids got a hold of this one. Did some finger painting and some hat and slapping on that one. Oh my goodness. That's a special edition. <laughs> it sure is. What a coat of paint. A Plymouth special edition. Yep, I haven't seen anything more special than that in my whole life. That is special. Hey, looks like we're doing okay. A little bit of pixelating. Let me see if we can. There we go. Beautiful truck right there. Hell yeah. Are they showing hey, are they showing TV? Yeah. for a couple days. Yesterday it was I was sweating hot. Today I'm wearing a sweatshirt with a hoodie. Oh good, we're back to a clear picture. That's the way you find them before you fix them there. <laughs> yeah, that's the way you find them and then you keep going, walk right by. Oh, look at this pretty yellow one. Beautiful. 1941, Georgia Tags. 256, 810, 0060 on the windshield there. Look at that. Hey, there's a nice Toyota, a 93. Some nice cars back there in the parking lot. Come on, baby, catch up to me. Kind of 
looking for some interesting cars. Ones that you don't see a lot of. There's a nice Chevrolet here. Cool. It isn't about just being envying the muscle cars. It's about seeing history. I really enjoy the history. Really enjoy the history. An AMC Gremlin going by. <laughs> Another Mustang. Beautiful Camaro. I'll tell you, the Camaros are here this year. Boy, look at this big tank. An AMC Nash. A Nash. The Ambassador. Custom. <laughs> it kind of looks like a torpedo, doesn't it? <laughs> 1950. Nash. <laughs> yeah, it's not the greatest picture, but. Uh, if I stand still for a minute, it seems to do all right. Beautiful wide track Pontiac. Look at that. Gorgeous. <laughs> all kinds of stuff. Mustangs and trucks. Oh, here comes a classic. the way they did the darker yeah, Camino there's a Viper SR10 that's so that's probably got a 10 cylinder engine in it There's the streets are just lined with people watching cars go by. Big trucks and small trucks and dualies with big old trailer hooks on them. All you can eat at breakfast in the morning for one price. A cute little Yorkies going by. Did you know you were originally bred in the UK? <laughs> in Britain. And the coal mines they had these Yorkies were rat killers. Ah. A 56 Ford. Look at, Look at that. Beautiful two-tone. Everybody was doing the rocket stuff back then. Anything to do with the space age was good for selling cars. 37 Plymouth. Got the primer on it, ready for that coat of paint after you buy it for 19,000. Here's 10 grand for a Plymouth here. Yep. Trucks. Oh, 
Ooh, 396 Camaro SS. But this is what I really like. That is classic. Look at that. Upgraded, you know, tires and brakes, safety, interior with headrests and safer, safer interior, all steel, a 37 Ford. Isn't that beautiful? $36,000. Oh, look at this beauty. Oh, look at that interior. This is a 53 Packard. I love Packards. I'll tell you, they just, you know, there's just a hunk of steel. Look at this thing. Beautiful shape. $17,500. Now, who wouldn't pay $17,500? To have something like this sitting in their spare garage to take a church take to church go on a sunday spin got the little wind wing wing windows for air conditioning flipper Here's the back of that Portilla Packard Clipper. See, some of that Packard must have been a sailor. They used a lot of a lot of um, um, nautical terms in Packard. Another Packard. Wow, look at this one. Beautiful. Wow, look at the size of this car. I mean, look at the size of this car. Look at, it's literally three and a half feet off the ground. And this one is only 18.5. And look at the goose on the, the goose hood ornament. Oh my goodness. With its neck bent down like it's just taken off. Oh, and it's got a special thing, a special thing on the inside. What does that say? Oh, look at this piece of history. So this is a 1951 Packard, 24th series, model 200, two-door sedan, 135 horsepower. style it's automobile line motor picture art director Clayton, 24th series packet the most beautiful car of the year a total of 100,132 were made and supplied to buyers during the 1951 model run totals about 76,000 cars this particular vehicle was used as a funeral flower car Detroit Michigan Wow they, their slogan was, is a Packard a good car? Ask the man who owns one. I mean, literally, that is the hugest car you'll ever see. Look how high the fenders are. 18.5. Oh, I just love that. Hey, a Maverick. Let's get back to normal time. And a Maverick Grabber. It's kind of a smaller version of a Mustang. Ford made it a little bit. And then here's a Barracuda. Yep, Barracuda 440. Early 70s. Look at that classic truck. Wow. Two-tone gray. Upgraded wheels and tires and brakes. A Ford. Beautiful. Oh, it's got a work box. And a Bronco. Wow, look at this Bronco. Red and white. It just can't do better than that. Let's go look at the front. That is gorgeous. Look at the size of this fender. Goodness. So it's a V8. 
$26,000. Wow. And then the Bronco. It says, um, oh, looks like they ran the windshield wipers and wiped off the price. Must still be for that. Is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. What would you do with such a beautiful car? You'd have to have a special garage just for it to keep it perfect. Uh, why have a car you can't get dirty, right? <laughs> Especially a four-wheel drive Bronco. Man. A beautiful, beautiful car. What's this? Is this another English? Oh, it's, it's Italian? Or is it Russian? Ah, it's a Russian car. This is the car you see him drive off into that icy lake off a ramp, remember? <laughs> Look at that. An old ice cream truck. Mom and Dad watching all that go by. Grandpa and Grandma holding on to the grandkids and enjoying the drive. Beautiful. Another Bronco. Not so fancy. Oh, nice convertible Mustang. Mustang GT. What the heck is this? Watashiwa Ungoga Iskaro. Right hand drive. What? What? Ain't that something? This is a 1989 Nehun Jindis America Jindis. 14.5 for the Mustang with the rag top. And we're all the way down to Mickey D's. What shall we do? Shall we cross over and start heading back? What shall we do? Looks like we've still got a good signal. Fewer people on their phones could be the reason. Mickey D's, Golden Crown, Corky's, and trucks that like to light up their underpants. Captain Underpants. There's a nice, beautiful Chevelle Super Sport with a roll cage. <laughs> I think that one's ready to race. All right, so you want a slick looking hot rod? Something that's just bare bones. You can't drive it very far. Oh, well, here it is. Look at this. Took the steering wheel out for security reasons. Batteries in the back, gas tanks in the back. Oh, the guy's starting up his stingray. Takes a little while to warm it up. You know, I thought about bringing two, two cords. Hey, look at that. This is a 1928 Plymouth with a 350 under the hood. <laughs> oh boy. 
that'll get up and go. Updated wheels, tires, and brakes. Pretty good. That would be an enjoyable drive. Ooh, what's this? Look at this kind of a wagon, two-door. Probably a Express uh, Cargo, Express something or other. 51 Plymouth. Very pretty, very pretty. Look through the camera, Donnie, look through the camera. Ah, someone's got a pretty Mustang. Everybody's got their underbellies lit up. It's a lot more fun to walk this than it is to drive it. Oh, I bet you that's a Nova or Chevy 2, Chevy 2. Let's see, I'll bet at the next crosswalk, I'm down to the Ace Hardware Food City. So I think at the next crosswalk, I'll go back. And we'll see how long the phone lasts. GMCs, Buicks. Oh, that's a pretty pickup truck. Nice and shiny and old. Oh, there's another Bronco back there. Two-seater. Falcon. International. Oh, don't you love the paint job? <laughs> People do this professionally now, by the way. Yep. If you want your car to look beat up and like a blue zebra, you actually have to have to pay to done, be done right. Oh, we finally get to see another Corvette. Finally, somebody's got a Corvette around here. Not too many of these old ones around. That's why they're so expensive. Comes with its own soda fountain. Everything's just probably stock in here. Look at that. Even a Georgia State Patrol sticker from 1976 on the windshield. Older trucks. Yeah, it's a beauty. No numbers on it though, so it must not be for sale. Hey, there's a Galaxy 500. Convertible. safe places to cross around here gotta be careful people are oogling all the cars while they're driving not paying attention don't automatically assume they're gonna stop for you IHOP's uh, still open Wendy's is open a lot of restaurants are still open at this time of night it is What time it is? It is twentieth. It's ten thirty. Well, you know what? Maybe it'll save power if I shrink this down a little. Yeah, but the phone will last a little longer. Uh, but hey, you know what? I can always switch the plug over to the other phone and we'll just switch them back and forth. Keeping the phones alive. The Chevelle SS with a convertible. There's a pretty truck right there. Very old. Well done. Well done. Oh, here's another Corvette. Mid-engine, Tennessee plates. Yeah, I don't think that's for sale though. He's just got a nice parking spot. There's a, uh, a Viper. Don't see many of those. V10. Very heavy engine. The 
engine does not stop as quickly as the car. Oh, look at this, a VW. Cool. So he's got this custom Beetle van, and look what he did. <laughs> he made a little mini version of it. <laughs> Does that look pretty cool? That looks pretty cool. Oh, look at inside. It's got a little steering wheel in there and everything. Pretty cool. Nice paint job. Beautiful. You don't spend that much money on a paint job unless you have done the right things. Ro Jones Rod Shop. They did a beautiful job. I mean, you just don't buy that kind of a paint job unless you know everything underneath it is going to last. Because that would be a waste to see that paint job just rust. Wow. And it's for sale. $65,000 for us. Oh, that's $1 per year. I mean, $1, $1,000 per year. So that's a deal, $65,000. And it's a 1965 and it is in perfect shape. Wow. Nineteen thirty-eight jalopy right there. I've seen this car carrier. Uh, Plymouth Cuda, yeah, Barracuda. That was one of my f first toy cars I ever had. Was a Plymouth Barracuda with the big glass rear, rear, um, whatever you call rear, rear, rear. Uh, well, yeah rear a windshield how much glass that is it probably cooked the inside of that car when they did that beautiful Monte Carlo Mustang well look at this sparkly truck <laughs> uh oh flag in the wagon look at this baby a Chevrolet a special rusted edition Hear that Camaro go by, and now a Firebird. Oh, look at this! This is the '53, maybe '54 Bel Air. Before they went to the '55, '56, and then to the ever famous '57. Uh, it's got a, some photographs of being refurbished. Beautiful. Yeah, one dollar per year. Here's another one. It's got that same flare back there. A stone guard, chrome stone guard. Very good. So it was uh, twenty-six thousand dollars. Twenty-six thousand dollars for such a beautiful antique. Man, gorgeous. Just beautiful. Look at that. Twenty-six thousand dollars. To have a piece of history like that from 1954 or 53, one of those two. Yep. Well, since I don't want to lose my other phone, I'm gonna plug my other phone in for a little bit. Get charged up. It's a family affair here. Got the kids. Got the kids out with their phones. <laughs> nice. Monaco. Nice. 
another Baskin Robbins. Nights like tonight, if it was a hotter night, they'd really be kicking. Here's a beautiful El Camino. Let's, let's see. Fords were uh, Rancheros. Chevrolets were El Caminos. But GMC made one too, but uh, it's Cabrero or Cabinero or something like that, if anybody knows. Thank you all for joining in with me, whether you're watching tonight or the replay. We've had some good reception. Uh, a couple times it's pixelated, but ooh, wagon. Look at this classic family wagon. Rear window is down. Kids seat in the back. Look at that. What a hunk of metal, huh? Don't you love that stuff when that happens? Beautiful, beautiful. I think I'm coming up on a light. Yep. I'm at Dollywood Lane. So. Hollywood Lane Splash Country. This is the place where we're gonna switch over to the other side and head back. And I'm sure our battery and battery charger will make it. We're gonna have a great time. <laughs> Look at these tires. Wow, this is made for like the sand or something. 35,000, 1999 GMC, real pretty. Must be made for the beach, huh? Oh, I missed that crossing. I'll have to catch the next one. So we're down at Denny's. We'll be on the we'll be on the group. We'll be on the group. <laughs> Heading for the next we'll cross the next time. An ambulance with And let's take a look at this Silverado, red and white, while we're waiting. <laughs> no point in sitting around with the crowd. 28.5 for it. Oh, is this an old this is one of the bigger impalas, yeah. Yeah, that's one of that's like my brothers. Huh. I see it, huh? Well, I'm nowhere near Cheddar's. Thank goodness for that. Hey, Lake, you still in? Good to see ya. I'm just scrolling back while I'm waiting to go across the street. Yeah, I'll tell you, I love an old Cuda, don't you? Oh, the light's red. I don't know if we should go or not. Yep, we can still go. We're waiting for cars, so we're crossing. We're gonna catch up to the group. Yeah. So that means we're at top jump. People are pretty crazy with their little... What do we got here? We got a red... Nope, we got a green light. So we are stopping. Here comes the traffic. We're going to wait. Wait, it says, there's a beautiful Mustang right there. Trucks. It's just that's an Impala, a Patriot Jeep. Isn't it nice when people are considerate enough not to enter an intersection until there's room on the other side? 
so that they don't get caught in the intersection if the light was to turn. Yep. So we'll let them sneak over here.